Hello friends. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this. It's okay. Um, you can see Kaylin is tired. Doesn't feel very well. Um, I just check her temperature, it's like 101.2, but, um, she's had a fever for a while now. Um, if you guys saw my last videos, you could, you can, um, you know that we went to the hospital and, um, she had her six month shots and whatnot, and now she's having a fever, so, um, you know, typical baby stuff. Uh, but this morning was like, today was like the third day that she had had her fever. And so we went to the doctor's office and, um, she said there was no further cause. Let me repeat that. I don't know if I said that. <laughs> I was saying it while I was yawning. She had temperature for three days. And so, and we haven't been giving her Tylenol. We have been giving her Tylenol and everything like that. Um, but we went to the doctors today, um, I called them and I was like, this can't be right, you know, there's gotta be some under underlining cause for this, like, besides the six month shots, um, that she got on Friday. So, they told me that, um, they didn't see any bigger cause of the fever, um, it could just be six month shots, and sometimes it does take a full... 72 hours and you know sometimes it takes longer some kids have more severe um reaction to the vaccines and which kind of makes sense because Carolyn is very sensitive on everything everything um she has sensitive skin <clears throat> because she's a redhead uh Oh, sorry. Making her mad is very, very easy to make her mad because she's a redhead. Um, but, you know, everything, she's very sensitive. So, um, so it would make sense that the vaccines are the one, are the ones that are making this more severe. I mean, I just took her temperature and it was, uh, 101.2. 101 so I'll probably be giving her Tylenol soon here, but... But it's just, I don't know, it's just weird because, like, I feel like, I don't know, it's scary when your child is having a fever, especially when they have respiratory problems, because if they have a fever, usually breathing problems come with it. That really sucks. So, she has been having a little bit of a tough time breathing, but nothing, like, concerning, just think that things that are like, ugh. Now we, got, now we got another thing to worry about. You know what I mean? So. I don't know. I might be slurring my, slurring my words together because I'm tired, but. Yeah. Well, hence why I keep out yawning. <laughs> but no. Um, yeah, so it's just been kind of a day today. It's been a really really a busy weird day today so what are you gonna do kids right so um can't live can't live with them can't live without them kind of thing um but she's just been sleeping all day and i've been letting her because i just want her to s i'd rather her sleep it off than stay awake and be miserable so She's been sleeping on and off today. She'll sleep for like 30 minutes and get up. She'll sleep for, you know, 10 minutes and then get up. And just basically just cat naps during the day. So, anywho. So that's what's going on with my baby. Um, I just wanted to give you guys an update. And then if they said if she still has a fever tomorrow to give complex care a call and let them know which is in columbus the doctor we came to yet today was in line but that was her that was her like her um family pediatric that's her like her one of the 
doctors that are her pediatrician doctor. But Complex Care told us to give them a call if she still has one, if she still has a fever tomorrow. And then we'll go further into it and do blood, do a blood test and to see what her white blood count is, if it's too high or whatever. So, anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Um, I'm tired, so I think while she's taking a nap, I'm going to take a nap. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.